if I've caught your question right, Simi, it's the uh, there's a, a, a number of uh, issues you're raising. Um, I uh, background uh, to my response would be this paradox of the uh, deified, defiled reality, the Yamuna, Yamunaji, as uh, she is affectionately addressed by participants uh, in the conference who are practicing religion, is to use that, and the sense that uh, uh, Srivatsa Goswami is the leader of uh, Radharaman Temple in Vrindavan, and uh, he will say things like, uh, two points, when his uh, uh, grandmother died, it is uh, customary to bathe the body in the waters of the Yamuna River, and uh, he could not do that. And uh, this is not something, we're I'm not talking millennia here, the beginning of industrial. People were swimming in the Yamuna River in Vrindavan in the uh, 70s. Uh, people were drinking the water. It might be problematic uh, for some of us, but uh, the water was uh, still uh, uh, potable in that sense. So we're not talking uh, decades, uh, overly many decades, or certainly not centuries. And so the uh, Srivatsa Goswami, uh, it was his first encounter with the reality of the situation. He, they have a, a well which penetrates quite deep into the ground, and, th and they're calling that Yamuna water. And so that's what they're washing the bodies now, the deceased, and also rituals that require water from the Yamuna. So the, the sense of um, this bhakti relationship, he feels he cannot publicly speak frankly about his understanding of the Yamuna River and its pollution because I it's too challenging to the faith of the community that he serves and too challenging to the thousands, tens of thousands of pilgrims who come to Vrindavan. On the other hand, he also feels this is an opportunity for education from the standpoint of the needs, as you mentioned it, and from the standpoint of the faith, uh, the devotion of the people who are coming. To begin to even visit uh, such basic exchanges as the prasad from the temple, that when the pilgrims come, the exchange with the temple of a, a gift giving from the temple to the pilgrims, often in the form of a particular a suite or a, an offering, a food uh, uh, offering, uh, maybe even a meal given back by the various temples to the pilgrims who visit. And some thinking now about um, tree planting, literally placing in uh, pilgrims' hands and guidance how to plant the trees and where to plant them. Uh, the sense of an educational exchange about water catchment, water conservation, along with prasad, or these kinds of uh, issues that we would respond not simply to a, con a uh, constructed environmental agenda, but would also try and meet need to educate people to what their need is calling forth from out of the environmental realities, along with their sense of their love for um, the river. And it is a lovely river. I it's uh, like so many environmental realities, the, the mountaintop removal also masked by its, its being raised up in the trees. And so also the Yamada at any given moment, you know, you look at it, it she looks beautiful. She looks lovely. But when you go down to get close to it, the reality is, uh, is stunning.